Hey, YouTube family, Auntie is here. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your Auntie of Pop Culture. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, if you're already, you know, been, been enjoying the channel, we have a lot to unpack today. You know, we always start off with a hug, so let's get it in. Okay, roll up my sleeves a little bit. I've been busting out the holiday colors. I got my beads. We got a lot to talk about. It's not cute, not knowing. We remember Pro Football Hall of Famer Franco Harris. Dead at the age of 72, he was one of the greatest running backs of all time. There was a period during the 70s when the Pittsburgh Steelers, they were the team to beat in the NFL. Franco Harris won four Super Bowl championships with the Steelers. We were entering a weekend where they were going to mark the 50th anniversary of what they're saying was one of the greatest plays in NFL history, the immaculate reception. That, that play that people say, this is one of the greatest plays in football. They were also going to retire his number 32. They were going to retire the jersey all this Saturday in a big ceremony honoring Franco Harris. Um, I'm sure they're still going to do it, but they really thought that he was going to be there. Franco Harris grew up in my neck of the woods. He, he was from South Jersey, Mount Holly, New Jersey. He went to Penn State. Then he went on for football greatness with the Steelers. What made a Franco Harris so special? He was not only this great football player, but the man he was off the field. And he was a wonderful ambassador for the NFL. He will be missed, the style of man that he was, the way he played the game. Who Franco Harris, dead at the age of 72, one of the greatest running backs of all time. We also remember actress Sonia Eddy. Got this news as soon as I wrapped up and finished everything yesterday. She was known as Nurse Epiphany Johnson on General Hospital. She had been with the show since 2006, and if you know the characters, she was Stan's mother, but she was that mainstay nurse on General Hospital. What happened? What happened to her? 55 years old, what led to her death? Apparently, earlier this month, she went into the hospital for a non-surgical, non-emergency procedure. She got out a couple days later, went home. A week later, they had to rush her back. She had gotten sick and had developed uh, some kind of infection. By the time they got to the hospital, they had to put her on life support, and then she died. So they're not really saying what, but they're saying that the procedure was a non-emergency surgery. Something went terribly wrong, and for her to develop an infection. So yeah, Eddie, single, no children. If you don't know her from General Hospital, you may have seen her on Seinfeld, or maybe Glee, or maybe Fresh off the boat. Sonia Eddie, she's going to be missed, dead at the age of 55. Will Smith was really hoping for better for emancipation. It did not do well at all in the movies. And this movie cost millions to make. I mean, mil I think like $121 million. And one box office tally headed at $3,000. It's streaming now on Apple TV Plus. So you can catch it there. I said they should have waited. It's too soon after the Oscar controversy with Chris Rock. Sometimes you got to give people the gift of missing you. Just fall back for a minute. You can still put it out there. Because his performance is incredible. It is it is a moving film. You're, you're going to watch this movie and say, you're going to forget it's Will. You're going to forget that it's Will. But I really wish they would have waited. Was it studio pressure? Did they tell him? He said he, wanted to, he didn't want to delay the movie because of the other actors. But this situation here, that Oscar slap, y'all know some people are not, some people are never forgiving. Some people, it's going to take them a while to come to the party. Hollywood loves a redemption. I think you got to wait a while before people will be willing to open arms. I knew 
when he didn't get nominated for a Golden Globe. Because I figured, well, the Golden Globes would be different. They'll nominate him. Child, none of these awards, and, and there's a hundred of them, none of these award shows are honoring him. Maybe he'll get something, you know, NAACP when they come out with the Image Awards. But they say he's very disappointed. And people are telling him, well, maybe you should do a project with Tom Cruise. Everybody ain't happy with Tom Cruise. Now, Top Gun 2 was good. Start streaming tomorrow on Paramount. Look at me with the segue. But you know, a lot of people look at him with the side eye. How come he don't do nothing with his daughter? When he divorced Katie Holmes, this little girl looked just like him. You know, a lot of people are like, mm, he's into that Scientology. But he, he is, Tom Cruise is a movie star, probably one of the last of the movie stars. My question to you, do you think he needs like a Tom Cruise to get back into the public's good graces? Or should Will fall back? Just fall back for a minute. Hollywood loves a good redemption story. Nobody's going to stay mad at him forever over one incident. But they're saying that maybe he's do like a buddy film. I don't see Tom Cruise willing to do that. I really don't. They say that, that Tom has been avoiding him. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. He's got Mission Impossible, what's it, seven or eight coming? I just don't see it. But I would love to know what you think. But emancipation has turned out to be very um, disappointing. He's disappointed by the reception that, that he has gotten. Michael Strahan, he's the member on Good Morning America who ain't getting in trouble. He has a new skincare line. Yes, the Michael Strahan skincare line is out and it features face and neck moisturizers. Y'all know I'm the moisturizing queen. Men, you need to keep your face moisturized as well. There's an area with your face and your neck and you want to keep it. You know me. Fight aging as much as you can. Yes, you'll embrace it, but you'll be like, I'm fighting it at the same time. But Michael Strahan is a fake and neck moisturizer. And yes, guys, you got to you gotta take care of your skin. Just like women. You got to take care of your skin. I hear women say, I don't want to wear no makeup. You ain't got to wear no makeup, but you should moisturize your skin. On the East Coast, it's getting cold. You got to make sure your hands are taken care of. Your feet. Don't look like your feet. Moisturize your feet, your body, your hands, your face. It's important, men and women. DC Comics, they are making some sweeping changes. Gal Gadot is not going to be back as Wonder Woman. Henry Cavill, he's not going to be back as Superman. And Dwayne The Rock Johnson, I don't think there's going to be another Black Adam. Black Adam even though this movie made millions, right? It made millions. It didn't make the millions that they wanted because they these movies cost so much to make that you got to really just got to make double that to make a profit. Dwayne The Rock Johnson put a statement out that there will possibly be a Black Adam 2 in the future, but not right now. That means it's not going to be a Black Adam 2. They're making all kind of changes. They done poured all that money in. It's already like streaming and stuff on demand. Because I, I came home one day and my son had it on. And I was like, is that already? I said, it was just in theaters. Um, they wanted to make the money like double of what it costs to put out. I'm telling you, these, these movies are costing more and more to make. And sometimes it's hard for them to get the profit. Let's talk about Cher. Now, y'all know, it was a few weeks ago I said, we're going to we got to put our prayers in for Cher. She's a legend. She's an icon. And she's dating a man that's 40 years younger. Cher is 76. Alexander Edward is 36. He had a baby by Amber Rose. She used to be with, with Kanye. They have a three-year-old toddler. And she said, I had to step out of this relationship because he wouldn't stop cheating. They say Cher is in love. Saying that he's fabulous. He's kind. He's smart. He's talented. He's fun. Cher. You want to have fun. Have fun, girl. Have fun. 
but keep that pocketbook closed. You know, sometimes you got to be honest. Like, then why are you really here? Why you want to be out with me? Why? Why? You know I look different when everything has to come off. Did you see that I'm 76? Why? Oh, he having a good old time. Because, you know, nowadays, somebody's going to be not with me on this. You know, nowadays, a lot of guys, they're looking for the bag, too. They're getting their bills paid. They're getting this. They're getting that. They're going to this fancy restaurant, and they're living the life. But are they using that person? Friends of Cher are very concerned. They're like, child. All right, all right. You know, you've got to pull somebody out of the water. They're trying to pull her out. They're trying to pull her out. There's an old saying. Don't have, my, wait a minute. My mom used to say it. Don't let someone have you so mixed up that you can't see the forest for the trees. Cher, have fun. But keep that pocketbook closed. You know, <laughs> years ago they said, keep your legs closed. Share, keep your pocketbook closed. No, know why they're really there. Make sure they have their best interests at heart. You're a woman of a certain age. Protect your heart. Let's talk about the Whitney Houston movie. It, it arrives some theaters on Thursday, but on Friday, I want to dance with somebody. A film that costs $45 million to make. There's a British actress that's playing Whitney Houston, but she's singing. It's Whitney's voice that you hear. It's Whitney's music. Now, Pisa Williams is playing Robin Crawford. I think for the first time, for those who say, what makes this one so different? They're going to show some of the dark sides of, of Whitney's life. Her father took such advantage of her money. He did. I, th I think that broke her heart. Because you don't think that a family member would do that to you. And this was Whitney's dad. Got a lot of money. And he really mismanaged her. Her doing drugs with her brother as a teenager. Her romance with Robin Crawford. Which at that time, you know, her father and everybody, oh, you can't let people know that you gay. They made her hide it. So that part of her life, that love, she couldn't acknowledge it. She had to deny it. And she wound up treating Robin like she was just a flunky. I think that Robin eventually could have been the one to save her because she was going down our dark path. But back then it was seen as you need to hide that side of your life. She was told, you, you got to start dating men. And one of those men she got involved with was Jermaine Jackson. Okay, you're thinking, his hair is waxy. Back in the day, in the 80s, Jermaine was that guy. He was. Let's go back for those of us who remember. Jermaine Jackson was that guy, and his hair wasn't stiff, and it wasn't all crazy. She was involved with him. She had to deny who she really was, and Clive Davis wanted her seen as America's sweetheart. She had that dazzling smile, this great voice, looking like a model. But that wasn't who she was. She had to deny it. She was accused of being too pop, singing white music, which is something I, I with 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 what Lizzo is going through right now. It's like Lizzo shut them down because there is no such thing as you make music for white people. Whitney made music for everyone, but she was often criticized for like songs like "So Emotional," "Didn't We Almost Have It All." So emotional, one of my favorites. But they were considered to pop. She gets with Bobby Brown. She met him on the night she was booed at the Soul Train Awards. So what do you get out of, of Bobby Brown besides a good time? She found a kinship and he gave her street cred. They were good and bad for each other. They had their daughter but eventually it, it wasn't it wasn't good. She had so many people around her that were using her. And in my opinion, still using her to this day. Michael Jackson said years ago before he died, you make more money dead than alive. She's still being used. 
But so many people are like, well, why are they making this movie? And, did, 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 and did, 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 did. I'm telling you what this movie is going to break down for you and what makes this movie so different. The brilliance of her voice and what made her one of the greatest voices of her generation. You could still listen to her version of the Star Stangled Banner and still get chills up your spine. The movie opens all over in theaters on Friday. I want to dance with somebody. Idris Elba's coming to Netflix. Finally, Luther, y'all. Luther is coming to Netflix. It's going to start streaming in March. And a big happy birthday. Quinta Brunson, Samuel L. Jackson, Jane Fonda. All greats. And all celebrating on this day. Today is winter solstice. The darkest day of the year because you don't get that much light and starts getting dark earlier, earlier. But starting tomorrow, it's going to start getting lighter, but you won't notice it because it happens a minute every day. You won't. Well, in the East Coast, it gets it gets dark early. You know, it's the daylight savings time. But today is winter solstice. Hope wherever you live, you have a good and safe winter. It's not cute not knowing, and now you know. To the lady who gave me that suggestion, I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. Give us a thumbs up. I love the conversation and want to know what you think. Thanks for joining me.